Greetings family, what's up? So Ken, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video because I've just finished watching, the, well not just, I've watched the Cat Williams, um, Joe Rogan interview recently and very interesting, very interesting. Now, I didn't see it when it first came out. I actually saw the Terence Howard and the Bill Carson first and then I went back to watch the Cat Williams. Amazing to have those three guests back to back. And what I found really interesting about it was, and any Nuwapian watching this must be like, these brothers are literally talking about things we've been speaking about for years. Things that are in our doctrine, in our books. We teach on this on class um, weekly. What they call Adam, but there were different Adam and Eve. But they were, each one was a different project where we talk about um, Nun Nunet, Het Het Het, Ket Kiket and then Amun and Amunet. And then, obviously, 6,000 years ago, they created the Adamite. Yeah, the Adamite is a hybrid who's also referred to that as their Adam. You know what I mean? So when you're saying us, we, we are etheric, ethereal supreme beings. But it's just that we've fallen down so much that we don't know who we are anymore. And that's why we have to teach this information to get you back to becoming a supreme being. And if you go back even to my very first video on TikTok called Intelligence, you will find that I was asking the question. So how comes when it comes to intelligence or when it comes to, you know, academics, we don't talk about who's the most smartest person on the planet, who I happen to think is Dr. Malachi Z. York. So why doesn't anybody talk about him? How is it that on the planet right now, you know, we, we do spend time on things that are not that, important or relevant but at the same time the important stuff dealing with intelligence we don't seem to pay that much attention to but a lot of people are starting to and these brothers were talking about things like the emerald tablets and the emerald tablets of both he actually says that he has achieved the ability to incarnate at will on and in the plane he desires he claims to be able to incarnate whenever he wants and even into other dimensions which is wild. That all three of, three of them mention Thoth as being the Atlantean, the, the author and writer of the Emerald Tablets. Um, they talk about the things he knew about that he wrote about thousands of years ago without the technology that modern day scientists have. Even Tesla says that this is where he came to get the information. But if you follow that information pathway, um, it leads you to this character called Thoth, right? And the emerald tablets um, of Thoth are literally mind-changing and mind-blowing just because you understand when this was written and... The terminology being used is um, when was it written? Far too accurate for now. If you are a being, you're like, we know who this is. This is the being called Tahuti. He's known as Hermes Trasmegistus in different culture, but he's Tahuti, Zahutimus, Zahuti. It's a matter of the tones, and. He is the person we refer to as Dr. Malachi Z. York in terms of that's the incarnation. And that being is the being that has written most of the knowledge on this planet. He's depicted with the ibis bird or the beak. Like when you see him on the walls of ancient Egypt, you see him is a scribe. He's always writing information because that's what he did, constantly writing and recording all the sciences on the planet, writing information about so much. And so it was amazing to hear these, these three brothers, Terence Howard, Bill Carson, Cat Williams, talking about him. And so I wanted to touch on that because we've been telling everybody that Dr. York, Pana Babianun, as we affectionately refer to him as, the master Yanun. Yanun is the entity that, as he started to grow up, 
and and then he was doing all these like he had abilities to do so much different things and people didn't understand and he was being abducted etc he was being told who he is and why he's here and then he started to write books when he was writing the books his pen was being guided i mean islamic we would say um illa muta jasid right so it means that an incarnation or somebody that was controlling his pen to put out this information that's why when the books are being written even himself he says He's amazed because his pen is guided by this being. And this being is known by many names throughout the ages, like Michael in the Bible, yeah? Or Mikael in Arabic, or, or you know, Murduk or Murduk, or um, different names throughout the ages. Tahuti is one of them, right? Which is Thoth. Um, but this being is the one that is the most knowledgeable being, and he's written most of the information on the planet. No coincidence that he is the most prolific writer on the planet right now and has written books, over a thousand books, covering every subject below and under the sun. There's no way someone can write information so far ahead of his time telling us things that are going to happen before they happen and it's consistent. Like, if anyone was reading the books in the 80s, in the 90s, or listening to his audio or videos or anything that he put out, everything he has ever said from the 60s till today still aligns up. There's nothing he said back then that he's not saying now. When we're saying to you he is here, he is here right now with us, and this is how he's able to put so much work into bringing truth to the world. These scrolls, such as my brother, the extraterrestrial, which his sister wrote, right? On her experience growing up with him as a child and the many encounters that other people have had with him and those of us who have been walking with him for many, many years, he has always said he's an extraterrestrial, a being from the planet Risk in the 19th galaxy known as Ilyun, hence why he's known as the 19th Elder. And I mentioned and I touched on this on a, on a previous video when I was saying about 19 Keys being the host of a, a show called High Level Conversations. And I was like, you know, the, the, the number 19 is very significant in the Islamic world. Um, it's a, a, a numerical number that is used as a, a seal of the Quran, the 19th elder, the 19th galaxy, the 19th seat. And so I'm like, if you're dealing with high level conversations of an intellectual value, then you have to mention this being. Just like I gave the example, if, if I was a 100 meters runner, I would like to know who else has run 100 meters the fastest, um, you know, like, I would like to know about Hussein Bo. I would like to, there'll be mentors or people that I looked up to. So when we're dealing with intellectual capacity and knowledge and information, these brothers that are talking about the Atlantean, um, known as Thoth or Zahuti, Tahuti, why are they, I don't know if it's ignorantly or purposely not aware of this being that is here already the same being that has incarnated over and over again in different cultures different times and the bringer of all this knowledge the, the writer and author of the emeralds tablets you know so i found it very interesting that they were all mentioning and talking about this being, and we're saying, this extraterrestrial being, this, this master of knowledge is here in the personage of Dr. Malachi Z. York, or Parnabab Yanun. And so I read, or would like to read, an excerpt from this actual fact, actual fact number 10, called Zahuti's vision. Okay? That's the being. 
All right, so it says Zahuti's vision. Zahuti is the Egyptian Grand Hierophant, Pahanut, the highest, high priest, the keeper of the secret doctrines that are the records of existence and destiny, and he is the keeper of time. Two, named by the ancient Egyptians who date back before 10,500 years ago, he is found in the records of the Hut, which is Lower Egypt. 3. Zahuti came down from Sabatat, Sirius, and he also spent time in Sahat, Orion, and was a part of the Moon and the Mars projects in the seeding of this planet, Patanun, Earth. Also referred to actual fact number 7, known as Pargatat or Pargatut, and actual fact number 12 called Enki as creator. 4. Zahuti being a man from the planet Risk in the 19th galaxy called Iliun, he has no mother or father, beginning of days nor end of days. He was also known as Melchizedek, Al-Khidir, Rama, Yanun, and al kopt the spokesman for the deities. 5. Zahuti is represented as a man with the head of an ibis bird, which they use as a dove in other religions born out of Egypt. He is crowned by the crescent moon, master of the moon cycle and all those beings created therein. 6. Zahuti was intimately connected with a variety of lunar functions relating to cycles of time, measure and movement as a divine scribe. I'm going to see if you can see this. I'm going to show you this. So that's the, the depiction of Zahuti with the beak. You will see him on the, on the walls of ancient Egypt and um, always with a, a quell writing. 7. Zahuti is depicted on the walls of the many Egyptian monuments with a green hue, which is what the Muslims refer to as al khadir the green one. So that's an excerpt from this actual fact number 10 called Zahuti's vision. Get hold of that. He is also the Atlantean who wrote the Emerald Tablets. And there's a scroll called Atlantis that goes into that. This Patarak is called Zahuti Wu Zahutimus or Zedi Wu Zahutimus. And again, this one, I'm going to read a little bit from, it says, Nuapians, remember this story. It was recorded and re-recorded by others. Yet, in fact, it is our own story. The names of the persons in this story were changed or removed, such as to replace the man, Reye Mus, Reye Mus, Zahutimus, Zahutimus, Mus, Mu, who became Mose. Mosi, Moses, Musa, Musa, even Moshe, Happimus, and Zahuti, Zedi Wu Zahutui. Some called him Ningish Zida, Nakash, Tahuti, Galzu, Thoth, Malaki Zadek. Maliki Sadak, Melchizedek, Melchizedek, Nabi Khidir Al Khidir, the green one, and other names in other cultures and religions. How, you may ask, do I know this? I was there. I am he, the ancient of days. I have been around for many of Earth's years 
in and out of many forms and flesh, seen the very birth of evil and the evil race of deceivers. That's the picture. So, if you haven't read any of the books authored by the great Dr. Malachi Z. York, the incarnation of Tahuti, I suggest go on our website, N-A-S-H-A-T, nashat.co.uk, and start reading. Interesting, Cat Williams said on his interview with Joe Rogan that as a young person, all he did was read. Reading books moves civilization mm -hmm. because, um, like, when I when I said, like, you know, I read 3,000 books, people were like, <laughs> yeah, right. I got eight hours, and I can read, and I love to read. Yeah, like, all I'm doing is reading because that's what— So I'm, I'm checking out 20 books— the limit at the library is 20 books at one time. So I'm going Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Read, 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 read. I think he was reading like 60 books a week or something. And yes, it's important to watch videos and listen because we're living in the information age and of technology multimedia. However, reading books exercises your mind. No coincidence that the most prolific writer of all time, Tahuti, the author and writer of the Emerald Tablets, just so happens to be the same person incarnated today who is also an avid writer, a prolific writer of all subjects above and under the sun, writing over a thousand books covering all the information you need to help you elevate your physical, your spiritual, your mental. And if somebody or a being of that magnitude is here on this planet, he should be televised, he should be on CNN, he should be, we should be asking him uh, as an extraterrestrial. My brother, the extraterrestrial, written by his very own sister, with her experience of watching him grow from a, a child all the way till now, and she's bear witness to that, and she's still around, still working to have him released. Instead of embracing this being, we create lies, wanting to be slandered, tortured, incarcerated, you know, it, it, it makes no sense. So I'm actually glad that these brothers um, are starting to talk about this great person and this, the books they've read of this person and the information therein has been the beacon for them in terms of the things they're putting out now. We're talking about, you know, Terence exploring, you know, space travel and coming up with technologies to to help us elevate to the point where we're like these extraterrestrials and these beings that have come from light years away and they come and they go, you know. Then you have the brother Bill Carson who's also talking about the writings of Tahuti, the Emerald Tablets, etc., and how magnificent this information is for us. And of course, Cat Williams, you know. So me watching those three interviews and knowing that we have, we have amongst us, in our midst, this great being, I, I had to speak on it, you know. So, the missing piece is, I hope these brothers, like I said, if, if someone's on this planet saying they're Tahuti, or the author and the writer of the Emerald Tablets, which you are just so blown away by, Make, would you not make the contact? Would you not investigate? Would you not research? Is it ignorance or is it by design? Maybe there's a valid reason. But in terms of intelligence, if I'm about intellectual, um, I don't know, like if, if, if that's 
I'm about knowledge, I'm about intel intellectuality, or in I'm about information, I would want to know who else is on that? Who else is on the planet? And if they claim to be that being, how can I get hold of all the materials? How can I get to know more? If I'm indeed sincere and I want to be someone that follows on and follows through. So yeah, I'm just I'm just blown away that I'm listening to these guys and thinking 80 to 90% of what you're saying, we've been saying as you know, students of the great Dr. Malachi Z. York. He's put out books like the Holy Tablets. Um, basically, pretty much every, everything you can think of, he's written on it. And so, very interesting day and time we're in. Let's see how this all unfolds. Let's see if he gets the, the recognition that is due. Many people will tell you, despite all the chaos and commotion on the internet about who he is, they will tell you he made a big impact in terms of the books and the information he put out um, covering everything, you know. Um, and that's the reality, like deal with the information. Everything else in terms of whatever opinions people have, that's, that, that doesn't change, it doesn't change the information and the works of this being. So very interesting. So Thoth, Hermes, um, Trismegistus, Thoth, that is Tahuti. And when you say Moses or Musa or Moshe, that's from Mu this word. And he was a school of, he was, a, he was of the school or a student of Tahuti, Tahutimus, Thotmus became Mose, became Moses, you see? So, very important to connect the dots, very important to connect the dots. All right, so with that, if you haven't seen these interviews, go and watch them. Um, remember to subscribe to OSM Vision, hit the notification bell, so you can be notified and alerted with content. Um, ask questions, you know, we have our series Ask us anything, ask your question, like it, and it will get moved to the top and we will answer it. We have classes, in fact, today, every Saturday, for free, and I've been doing so for over 50 years, all around the world, with our many student teachers, our many stores, and you have an opportunity to log in from wherever you are on Zoom, Clubhouse, or go to the store physically and put your questions to the student teachers. You know, we have a class here today from 7 p.m. GMT to 9.30 p.m. where you can join on Clubhouse, on Zoom, and you can interact with us and ask your questions. Go to nashat, N-A-S-H-A-T, dot co dot UK, Hit the um, podcast button and listen to all our, you know, podcasts that we've done, the audio anyway. And also, you can hit the connect page to connect with us and get all the information for the classes and listen to the, to the voice of Tahuti. Yeah, so you can make sense of the, of the world and know what you're supposed to do in this day and time for your your freedom liberation until next time peace love and unity <laughs>